Hey guys, welcome to Kirkwood's Club Corner, a podcast where we're diving deeper into clubs and organizations here on Kirkwood's campus. I'm your host, Danielle, and joining me today is my lovely, super Iowa nice <laughs> co-host, Kate. Hello, happy to be here, as always. I'm not flirting. KMD in the morning, <laughs> yeah. as you were saying. <laughs> um, joining us today is the advisor for the Seeds Club, David Jennerjohn. That's how you pronounce it, right? That's perfection. Oh, let's go. All right. Um, so starting off right off the bat, how would you personally describe Seeds to somebody who has no idea what it is? So Seeds is a great club that starts and ends with S because we start and end with sustainability. But we also take seeds and we grow them. Uh, We are a club really focused on sustainability and gardening. We love to make fresh produce. We donate that fresh produce to the student pantry and other charities here in Iowa. But if you're new to maybe the Kirkwood campus, stop on by and pick your own fresh produce whenever you want. Oh my goodness. You should be the one hosting this show. Yeah. Uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've been so pumped about this. I've been practicing in front of a mirror, like a little brush. You're like, yeah, come yeah. on down. I love this. I love this commercial. This is Apples great. and carrots. Yes. Woo. Oh my goodness. Mm. Poopy soil. Love <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> love the enthusiasm. <laughs> We make compost slightly less smelly. <laughs> Is it less smelly no, than it's still no. smelly? It's still smelly. <laughs> That's just get people to show up. Yeah. yeah. It's that false advertising. I know. I should say it. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Wow. Um, all right. So, seeds. Is this like. Is, um, is this just at Kirkwood or is this like around the world, around the nation? So Seeds is a club specific to Kirkwood. Uh, okay. It is actually a sustainable gardening club. We do focus on sustainability. We actually work completely out of the Sustainable Village, which is an organization area here on Kirkwood's campus that not a lot of people get a chance to know about. Uh, we actually, Unfortunately. Yeah, I would agree with that. Very <laughs> unfortunate. It's not something that gets a lot of publicity and a lot of use. We're hoping to change that, as well as we like to produce as much produce as we can from the limited Kirkwood Gardens that we get a chance to then share with the Kirkwood campus and the greater uh, college area. So we actually, we do donate almost all of our produce to the student pantry here on Kirkwood's main Cedar Rapids campus. And there's a uh, organization called Feed Iowa First. Oh yeah, yeah. They're uh, yeah, a local a charity that takes in our extra produce and provides it to those who need. They're kind of over by Mercy Hospital, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Wow, that is so cool. Well, no, no one else? Okay. No, no, yeah, no, it's very cool. It's I'll really put it cool. out there. I agree that it's yeah. so cool. <laughs> no, it really is. All right, so you just, yeah, you talked about how you donate to the food pantry and work with them. Is Okay. So, <laughs> right. really important, I just want to make sure we reiterate this. Yes. We are a club, we focus on gardening. Gardening is kind of our forte. Um, what you'll get a chance to see is we actually, we provide a little mini library for those that are interested to learn more about gardening, but we love the idea of sustainability. So it's not just gardening. We do have a garden, that's the main purpose of the club. We help produce produce, uh, vegetables, tomatoes, uh, you know, carrots, onions, etc., etc. But... We love the idea of sharing ideas of sustainability. So we work with other clubs. Sometimes we'll work with the sustainability committee. Sometimes we work with like carpentry and welding and we make other things. So we, as long as the idea is around sustainability, if you're interested in sustainability, we're there to help you foster that interest. Do you work, do you work with Steve? I do work with Steve. I miss Steve. I had him for class my freshman year, like my very first semester. Hmm. Steve? The trend, the, the new trend on this podcast is Danielle knowing somebody <laughs> and asking the guests if they know them. Do you know them? I like them. They're cool. They're a cool person. Yeah. yeah. That's normally how that goes. But it's, All right. It's Steve cool. must be paying for this somehow. Is no. that that's what's happening here? It's cool to know oh, people. Busted. It's cool to know people. We have a short little ad from the communique. The Kirkwood Communique has been serving the Kirkwood community for 53 years. All students are invited to attend creative team meetings on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. in 1210 Lynn Hall. We have open positions for writers, photographers, and graphic artists. Participating is a great way to get involved on campus while building a professional portfolio and resume. Check out our website at eaglevoice.com. 
Um, so you talked about how you donate to the pantry. Talk mm-hmm. about that a little more. It runs out of Jones Hall, correct? So uh, the Sustainability Club, we work out of the Kirkwood Gardens, which are technically it's not a part of Jones Hall. It's the area right next to it. So the Got Iowa you. Sustainable okay. Village is still right next to the parking lot for Jones Hall, but it's its own little separate area. It's got a classroom called the Sustainable Classroom. <laughs> I know, we're really creative with our names. Uh, but the Iowa Sustainable Village is a large open area that if, for say, someone's listening to this podcast and they might be an advisor or teaching, like, huh, I want to learn more about that. You can rent it on 25 Live and students can go out there. They can rent the space if they want to do something in the open green garden uh, at the end of the semester. Definitely get a chance, book it, get uh, Garden Fresh. There's huge greenery, uh, green trees, green fields all around the area. It's a great chance, even if you just don't want to book anything, you just want to get away, walk over in that area. It's a great chance to just, there's a um, flat a garden, mm-hmm. well, so there's a garden area, the mm-hmm. flat garden area. There's fields that you can just get a chance to walk through, greenery trees, uh, green grass, but there's also area if you want to do like picnics there's a flat cemented uh, picnic area so you can go out there it's a great chance to just get away and get in a more sustainable viewing environment Mm -hmm. (laughs) a little oasis Mm -hmm. on campus if you will exactly get out of the classroom you know super super sorry randy i'm not coming to class i'm gonna go (laughs) i'm at the oasis yeah i'm at the oasis (laughs) You don't know where it is that's your problem (laughs) yeah (laughs) you will never find me oh goodness um so can, wait okay serious question mm-hmm. can you hammock out there well you have to provide your own hammock it's but if i B-Y-O-H, brought my own hammock yes <gasps> totally byoh out there but you can need, yeah for I need, sure like, a, a hammock permit or something well <laughs> i mean straps. i don't know who's in charge of hammock permits for the city of cedar rapids <laughs> but here on kirkwood's campus it's byoh oh my gosh Love this that. is the best news I've heard in a really long time. Oh my goodness. And it, currently when we're recording this, it's March, but it's about to be. <laughs> it is it's, almost, once it, once it hits like 40s, 50s, like mm, solid, you just bring a blanket. Oh, It's about Let to be Let me clarify season. here. Are you saying candy in the morning doesn't go hammocking when it's 40 degrees <laughs> outside? We are, we are uh, I assume we're all Midwesterners. We don't really care. <laughs> the cold never bothered us anyway, as yeah. Elsa once said. <laughs> um. So you talk a lot about sustainability, obviously, Mm -hmm. Sustainable Gardening Club. Let's say that I'm somebody who's looking to be more sustainable in my everyday life. Mm -hmm. Would you have um, a tip or a trick or like a way to start small with bringing sustainability into your life? I sure do. We'll talk about it in one of three ways. Awesome. Um, So if you're interested in sustainability. Get out your notebooks. Sustainability comes in three forms. It's essentially you're talking about either financial, environmental, or socially sustainable. So if you're like, gosh, what does that even mean, David? I can already tell you I'm not socially sustainable. <laughs> well, there's a very, you could improve in that, I, maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. All right. If you want to improve in one of these three areas, there's so many things out there that you could do. One of the easiest things that people really just, I don't know, it just never really clicks in their mind. If you shut your lights off when you leave a room, it's one of the easiest things you can do. And it cuts down on electricity usage, which cuts down on fossil fuel and source usage, which is great for the environment. All the and things. it's great for your finances. So true. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what a concept. Yeah. It's so, seriously, so easy, so simple. You turn can do the that. water off while you're brushing your teeth. Do that today. <laughs> yeah. do, that, do that right now. Yeah. Uh, turn off your lights right now. The room you're in. Yeah. Just sit in the dark. It's Contemplate the dark. life. Listen to this podcast. Listen in the yeah. dark. That's a great advice in general. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, um, was there more on that thought? Did you want to expand? Well, I mean, that's just the the easiest one you can do right off the bat. There's tons of other stuff you can do. If you're really interested in being more sustainable, there's tons of organizations in the Cedar Rapids area here on Kirkwood's campus. Not only is there the Seeds Club, there's the Sustainability Club, which I know be pretty crazy to think they do sustainable stuff, but they do. (laughs) And there's other clubs and actions out there that you can take that are really easy to find out if you're really interested just Google it. Ask uh, ask Jeeves, you know, whatever it is that no. you're really into Bing. doing. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know about that one. No. No. Oh, we don't endorse Bing. Yes. No Bing endorsement. Oh, goodness. Um, can, wait, can you explain? Sorry, I just cut right. you off again. Um, can you explain 
what socially sustainable means because to me I'm like I can't sustain a conversation because I'm awkward. <laughs> so, but well, I don't think that's what you mean. In a sense, <laughs> you, you could think of it that way, but so sustainability just means that you can do something over and over again and it's able to be done again. So socially might be a social program. So like if you go out and you play soccer, okay, it's fun. Yeah, it's doing something, right? You could probably do that again. If you go out and say, um, I don't know, jump off a cliff, I mean, you're probably only doing that one once, but <laughs> mm, I mean, YOLO. I mean <laughs> <laughs> and then you, yeah. that's a pretty extreme yeah. example, but yeah. <laughs> uh, doing anything is like a program or doing something that you think I could do this again. That's mm -hmm. socially sustainable. Maybe going out and, uh, I mean, I'm not, not going to say go to a bar, but go to like a restaurant. Maybe yeah. I mean, make a new friend. They might That's, have a bar there. Okay, maybe. Yeah. 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 Applebee's. Applebee's. Yeah. yeah, go to Applebee's. Get your half price apps on Thursday nights oh or whatever. <laughs> Guys, the pretzel sticks with the beer cheese dip. Oh, oh goodness. Mm, mm. See, you can go out and find someone else who loves the pretzel sticks with the beer cheese. That's a socially sustainable activity. Generally, when someone says socially sustainable, they're talking about in reference to like, and economically or and environmentally. So if you're going to like a monster truck rally, <laughs> yeah, all right, you're having fun. But maybe not go to the monster truck rally that jumps over nuclear waste or something like that because that's probably not sustainable. <laughs> okay. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for clarifying that. Um, so to talk more about you, um, were you assigned to be an advisor for this? You seem really passionate about this topic. So, so actually, no. Um, I have a... Probably a unique experience of coming here to Kirkwood as an instructor. And I was actually a student first, then I went to another college, and then after I got my bachelor's degree, I worked in my field for uh, about five years, and then I decided to come back to get another associate's degree, just because I miss it. It's so much fun. <laughs> And we do well, have a good time bad. here. It yeah. is. I mean, I'm on time. my second associate's degree. Let's go. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Of course. So I came back, and when I came back, I happened to join the Seeds Club as a, as a student. And while I was a student, I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. I thought, man, this is this is a great project. My hands are moving around. I'm telling you, this is so much fun. <laughs> lots of lots of hand gestures going on in the studio yeah. right now. Very passionate. <laughs> Very positive hand gestures. I yes, want to clarify yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> so I I really really enjoyed it. But then, as it turns out, um, I was offered a position here at Kirkwood, and I tried it out as a part time adjunct. I liked it. And so I decided to stay on full time. And weirdly enough, for most clubs, they prefer students to be members as opposed to uh, teachers. So I decided just, you know, help out that idea. I would be an advisor instead. Guide the children. Yes, guide the minds, <laughs> mold them yeah. to a sustainable future. Um, what's your favorite part about being the advisor? Um, the free produce. Yeah, I, no. I yeah. can imagine. I mean, it gets expensive. Mm. Um, last summer, I grew some tomatoes in my backyard. Mind you, I'm not very good at gardening or anything. But it was really cool to like watch the process and watch it happen. And then you, here's a little plant. And wow, you have a tomato now. Like I know it seems very simple, but well, it was, it it's, was mind blowing. It, the, it was magical. Like that circle of life thing can be really. It's, it's impactful. It, it's one of those things where you're like, gosh. I ate something that I grew. The power of me. <laughs> it's a very empowering moment. It's yeah. like I nurtured this little tomato, mm -hmm. and here we are eating salsa. It's like it's very cool. Mm. My very... mom made a oh, ton of salsa from the tomatoes we grew this summer. I don't even <laughs> like tomatoes, but this salsa is like mm, salsa chef's for kiss. Days. Like so good. <laughs> I love Shout that. out to you, mom. And she probably <laughs> felt and she probably felt really empowered. She's like, I did that. I grew those tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is a really cool experience. So I bet watching students get to kind of experience that firsthand, being able to guide them and see that is really cool. It is. It's always awesome when you get a chance to see someone who not only is proud of what they've done, but have done a good thing and they're proud of it. it makes me feel not only morally warm and fuzzy, but just good warm and fuzzy in general. We need we need some more warm and fuzzy for this March weather because yeah. I'm really I'm <laughs> yeah. not having it. Mm. Oh goodness, it's oh, snowing no. right now. It you? is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I was just out. I was literally just out at the garden. I'm like, huh. I wonder if maybe we can. Nope, it's snowing. All right, we're yep. gonna we're gonna call this one a day. <laughs> yep. Oh goodness. 
Um, so for somebody who wants to join, what does that process look like? How do we, how do we join? How do we sign up? You've got me convinced. Oh, okay. <laughs> so well, let's, let's break it down into one of two ways. Maybe you're thinking sustainability. Woohoo. I love it. Yes. For me, there's two great options. I never going to stop saying, uh, join seats club, join seats club, I think is a great option, but there's also the sustainability committee, which you can look into joining if that's something that more I just want to do sustainable but if gardening or what we've talked about today is oh two thumbs way up your alley positive hand gestures positive hand, hand gestures. gestures again um if you go on to the crooked website and if you uh search seeds it'll be a little page and it'll tell you all about how to join we generally will have monthly meetings I'll be honest, we like it when it's a little warmer and we can do more with the garden. It allows us to do a little bit more things, especially in the fall. Now, here's a plug I'm really going to play out. I said my favorite part about being an advisor was the free produce. In the fall, every student that wants to stop by that garden can get their own free produce whenever they want. You heard it here first. <laughs> yes. This is good to know. What produce do you all the time we have tomatoes oh my gosh so many tomatoes it's ridiculous if you want a fresh tomato i maybe you don't get that sense of empowerment that you grew it but you want a fresh tomato stop on by the iowa sustainable village and grab one we also you generally have different forms of lettuce hot peppers don't do it as often but we'll have onions uh tomato well not tomatoes we always have tomatoes <laughs> uh <laughs> potatoes and then a bunch of few other different types of um accentuating flowers which can add a fun kick to your salsa <laughs> do um do i need to be a pro gardener to join um, definitely not uh don't tell anyone in the club this but i'm actually a really bad gardener <laughs> <laughs> i just love sustainability and i love the idea behind it i do gardening i help out with gardening but i'm not that good <laughs> So maybe don't come get the produce. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, there's others to help me along the way. We help each other out. We make sure that everyone knows if they have a question, what they're doing. But mostly the great thing about gardening is you just have to make sure there's water and sunlight to make sure something stays alive. That's pretty easy to do. It's very basic. <laughs> you know, you would think so, but I'm, I have succulents. Oh no. <laughs> They've died. Like, you, they are the easiest things to take care of, and they've died. Well, I, I'm just going to put it out there. Were you listening to a radio talk show in the dark with your succulents, and they maybe they died because they didn't get sunlight? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, my, my guess. <laughs> I'm just forgetful. <laughs> Well, maybe you should join the Seeds Club. Maybe. They'll have you. They'll help you out. There they'll won't be any produce because <laughs> I'll kill it all. <laughs> they'll, guide, they'll guide you. David will guide you. He will mold your mind, mm -hmm. and those succulents will be healthier than ever. <laughs> Okay. They'll they'll survive. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, so how do we keep up with Seeds Club? Do you guys have an update or like a social media place we can keep up with you? So as of right now, we do not. But if you're really interested in sustainability and social media, come on down, join the club, and you could be the first to set up the Seeds social media accounts. You hear that, Kate? The Seeds <laughs> Instagram. I feel like the Seeds Instagram would be really cool. Oh actually. My gosh. You could get some really great like aesthetic tomato pictures tomato updates oh my gosh yeah. you could name you one name tomato yes. and watch as his life goes on oh my gosh have a different like story you know like the highlights and then you can follow like <laughs> timmy the tomato yeah uh, seems like bob. Bob. bob 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 obviously bob tomato. all right well the position is open if that sounds like you <laughs> to a t come on down get in contact with david um we're, we're waiting for you <laughs> <laughs> he will be waiting oh goodness with a tomato <laughs> well thank you so much for coming down and talking to us about seeds club my uh, pleasure i feel like i have been enlightened i feel like i've been empowered my mind has been molded yeah <laughs> and well, hopefully this spring i start i, I feel fertilized. like i'm inspired mm -hmm. yeah fertilized it's been fertile oh my goodness the references <laughs> yeah I feel like I've been inspired this summer or spring to start giving this gardening thing a shot. Some real sustainable references you guys are pulling out. Hey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shut the lights off. Just leave the room, shut the lights off. Save money, save the planet. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much uh, for being here. We really enjoyed it. Uh, Seeds Club, everybody. All the information will be down in the description if you want to learn more about the Seeds Club. Um, maybe we'll give them a map to figure out where the village is. Oh, I love that idea. Go familiarize yourself with the village. It's, it's or an it oasis. Or it could just be an adventure. Mm -hmm. Like a treasure map. Make them a treasure map. Yeah. Go on an adventure.
it's right here on campus, and it and it really is an oasis. So go check it out. But the real treasure is the friendship you'll find along the way. Aww, <laughs> that was a good ending. All right, thank uh, you guys. Can I do the sign off now? Yeah, of oh course. yeah. All right, so this has been D and Kate in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, everybody.